Good morning, everyone. We are so glad that you are here today. Today, we're going to be talking about compassion. What is compassion? Well, ultimately, compassion is looking around and seeing the needs of others, but not just seeing them, looking for ways to meet them. Did you know that when you're born, you start off and once you begin to become aware of things around you, it's all about me. I'm hungry. I want that toy. I don't want to sit in my car seat. He has something I want. But gradually, as you get older, we become others aware. Hmm. Look over there. That's a friend. We could play together. We could be friends. And as you become others aware, it's almost like a muscle that God gives you that you can flex and grow and build as you listen to the Holy Spirit. Boy, that boy looks sad. That girl doesn't have anything in her lunch today. How could I help? And as you grow in your compassion, God uses you to be his hands and feet to make a difference. So we start off self-aware, we transition to others aware, but you have a choice. Are you gonna make a difference or are you gonna sit back and do nothing? I say, look at this classroom, look around the classroom. You see the boys and girls that are sitting here? I'll bet you, you know some of them. Some of them are probably your friends. There may be a boy or girl who is new here and doesn't have any friends. Is anyone sitting by them? Is anyone being kind to them? I don't know. And then it moves to things like when you're at school and boys and girls are laughing at someone because maybe they don't like them. Do you stand up for them and say, hey, I'll be the friend of the child that no one likes. And even if that's hard, you can pray for them. As an adult, there are a few things that have impacted my life, which I will never forget. One of them is a photograph that I saw on someone's Facebook page, and it really got to my heart. It was two little boys, my guess is maybe six to eight and two to four. They only had pants on, no shoes, no shirt, and they're sleeping on a cardboard box, and the bigger brother has his arm around the little brother, almost like to keep him warm. And I thought to myself, who, who would shoot a picture like that and not do anything? And maybe they did, I don't know. But there's no story with it. You just see two boys in great need. And boys and girls, God has given you eyes and a heart that you can look around this world and you can see those who are in need around us. But the question is, what will you do about it? You can make a difference. You remember our Bible verse? 2 Timothy 4.12, don't let anyone look down on you because you're young. Look at yourself. Are you young? Do you sometimes have people look down on you? It may be, but you know what? You can set an example. You can make a difference even now. Don't wait till you're old. Don't wait till life has halfway passed you by. Set an example in speech, in life, in love, in faith, and in purity. So my prayer for you is that this week as you go out and beyond, you would show compassion in all that you do. And I would encourage you to start in this classroom. Who can I show compassion to in this classroom? And then let it spread to your home, to your school, to your neighborhood, and the world beyond. All right, I need you to sit up straight. I need you to point your nose right at the front and wait until you hear what our lesson is going to focus on.